Theorem 6.10. Let M be an exchange market whose excess demand function satisfies WGS and suppose that M is equipped with an oracle for computing the excess demand at any given price factor for any epsilon greater than zero. The Tetanement based algorithm computes in time polynomial in the input size of m and 1 over epsilon, a sequence of prices, one of which is a weak 1 plus epsilon approx equilibrium for m. In order to actually pick the approximate equilibrium price from the sequence of uh, prices, we need an efficient algorithm that recognizes an approximate equilibrium of m. In fact, it is sufficient for this algorithm to assert that a given price pi is a weak 1 plus 2 epsilon approximate equilibrium, provided the pi is a weak 1 plus epsilon approximate equilibrium. Since uh, the problem of uh, recognizing an approximate equilibrium is an explicitly presented convex programming problem, such an algorithm is generally quite easy to construct. Section 6.4 Specific Utility Functions In many economic scenarios, the market is modeled by consumers having some specific utility functions. While in some cases this does not lead to a simplified computational problem, in other instances, the specific utility functions might expose a computationally useful structure. This turns out to be the case for linear utility functions as well as for certain CS utility functions. Convex programs for linear exchange economies. The equilibrium conditions for an exchange economy with linear utilities can be written as a finite convex feasibility problem. Suppose that the linear utility function of the ith trader is summations of uh, aij times xij summing for all j, and suppose that wij is greater than zero for each ij. Consider now the problem of finding psi j and uh, non-negative xij such that the summations of aik times xik summing for ok is greater than or equal to aij times the summations of uh, wik times e to the psi k minus psi j, where the summation is taken for all possible j, k, for each 1 less than equals to i less than equals to m, and uh, j is between 1 and uh, n. The summations of x i summing for all i will be e n is equals to the summations of uh, w i summing for all i. This is another constraint. Any solution to this program corresponds to an equilibrium obtained by setting pi j equals to e to the phi j. The converse also holds, i.e. any equilibrium corresponds to a solution to this program. We will discuss the ideas behind uh, the derivation of the convex program above in the context of uh, economies with the production. Section 6.0. Six.